waiting patiently is our last finalist. He is Philip Bouteris from Microbiology, Immunology, and Molecular Genetics. He's going to tell us about disarming deadly bacteria. For these rice farmers in Southeast Asia, this is just another day at work. But the tranquility of the scene masks a grim reality. The soil and water in which these farmers are standing is teeming with a deadly bacteria known as Burkholderia. If as few as 10 of these bacteria enter a cut on your foot or are inhaled into your lungs, they can trigger an overwhelming infection that not even our best antibiotics can treat. One in two of these patients will die in a matter of days. The goal of my research is to find new and better treatments for this devastating disease. Burkholderia kills almost 100,000 patients, people every year throughout tropical regions of the world. But it's not just a global health threat, it's also a threat to our national security. In World Wars I and II, Burkholderia was used as a biological weapon. In the lab, we exercise extreme caution when working with Burkholderia and in the field. Because this is a scary pathogen. But the scariest thing about Burkholderia is that our best defenses against it are antibiotics that were developed over 40 years ago and are no longer effective today because of drug resistance. To make matters worse, uh, the development of new antibiotics has severely dwindled. We are desperately in need of new and better antibiotics for Burkholderia as well as many other bacterial infections. For the past four years, I've been working on a new strategy to combat Burkholderia. It works by targeting the weapons that Burkholderia uses to cause disease. For instance, Burkholderia is capable of firing molecular missiles into human cells. One of these missiles is, is able to cause human cells to fuse together by the thousands, as shown in this time-lapse video. And ultimately, they burst and die. This is what causes disease. If we can find a way to neutralize this weapon, we may be able to cure the disease. To test this hypothesis, we developed a simple test in my lab uh, for cell fusion, in which we engineered human cells to glow either red or green, we mix them together, and when we infect them, they fuse together and turn yellow, as shown here. I used this simple approach to test over 200,000 chemical compounds for their ability to block fusion. I was able to identify 20 compounds which successfully and potently block this process, four of which are safe for use in humans. I have shown that these four compounds target essential weaponry that Burkholderia uses to cause disease, including the molecular missile I just showed. We're currently developing these four promising compounds into new antibiotics to treat Burkholderia and potentially other bacterial infections as well. Because Burkholderia is just one of many bacteria for which we have no good antibiotics. So we're hopeful that our study could serve as a model for the development of a new generation of antibiotics that disarm deadly bacteria and save lives. Thank you.